Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have once again, the higher ups in the gaming industry, basically not knowing what is even going on with their usual game and game experience and users, because we once again have a massive gaming company such as Ubisoft, you know, the big makers of Assassin's Creed, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six, The Division, uh, For Honor. Well, I mean, there are so many games out there and even more games on the way, where basically they just don't know what's going on and they don't know their audience because they're once again, and double downing and pushing and once again kind of basically making fun of the player base for still trying to go push those nfts if you guys don't know what nfts are they're basically the pretty much kryptonite i feel like of gaming where every big company wants to go and include them to go make easy money and try to get in the crypto scene and try to go hit the trends and obviously no one wants it no one kind of wants to spend the money on it and a lot of people are kind of basically upset especially when it comes to these huge gaming companies that keep on trying to push this and at this point it's not only just ubisoft there's a lot of other various game companies out there too as well that are basically going and making us all have to sit through this nft crypto bro talk that i'm sure you guys have probably heard from your weird friends from high school who never really got a real job so we have a lot of this to go talk about over here so make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on throughout the video itself give me your thoughts and comments down below we have the amazon links as we're waiting for the ps5 disc digital console controller same thing too as well those samsung ssds as well as the samsung brand new phones up on sale too as we well. get a gift card for picking them on up down below twitter and twitch stream as well and of course check out those weebles and give me your thoughts on this one because for this the nft plague is just destroying pretty much everyone so for this we actually have an article over here and had some pretty big official statements from ubisoft themselves now, we also, uh, I'll give you guys my quick stance on NFTs. I'm sure I've mentioned it kind of in passing when it comes to these videos. But for me, NFTs, I like the initial idea behind it. I think there is potential for the future. But right now, it's just a big, massive cash cow where a lot of people are just trying to cash on into it to make as much money as they can. As we kind of keep on seeing playing up on the gaming industry too as well. And for us, I've always been very anti-microtransaction, very anti-having to pay more than on top of the game I'm already playing. And I'm just not the biggest fan of just having to spend more money. So I've always been kind of anti-NFTs, especially in gaming. Number one, because it just doesn't make sense. And number two, eh, it's just not a good experience. So we actually have Ubisoft executives now even defending their own company from trying to go push into NFTs. So basically stating, it's saddening to see there's still some resistance based on misunderstanding. The only big misunderstanding I think I can kind of feel with this one is that they just want to make even more money. So basically an Ubisoft executive now has said the company will proceed with its plans to implement non-fungal tokens or NFTs in its game, claiming players just don't get it, which I think is insulting nonetheless. I think a lot of folks understand the idea behind it, and I'm someone who mentions like Coinbase. I have a lot of cryptocurrency. I've owned cryptocurrency since probably before even Ubi, this Ubisoft executive I've even knew what it was. I was mining Dogecoin back in 2012. I was mining Bitcoin and Litecoin forever ago. I literally have an Ethereum staking note. Like at this point, like your boy's up in this stuff. So basically, I will probably respectfully disagree and say that a lot of these NFTs are just not there yet. So in an interview with Australian financial comparison site Finder, Ubisoft Strategic Innovations Lab VP Nicholas Porod defended the publisher's plans to add NFTs to its games despite huge player backlash. And first and foremost, and I think no matter what your stance is when it comes to NFTs or whatever, if you're a game company and everyone is against you adding or changing something in your game, you should probably go and listen to your overall audience because there probably is a reason why they're not a fan of it. So their reaction was basically what they were expecting. But Howard Broward said in a large negative response to its Quartz NFT system. We know it's not an easy concept to grasp, but Quartz is really just a first step that should lead into something bigger, something that will be more easily understood by our players. So I want to go and say when it comes to NFTs, I do see potential in it. I'm not fully against NFTs in any capacity, but sometimes when it comes to gaming, you need to have a very, very long term kind of plan for it. And as well as also to be fully down to go support it now for the next 50, 60, 100 years, especially if this is the next, you know, lifelong technology. Which do you really think a big company like Ubisoft who can't even go and handle like a BR for two years is going to go keep on continuing up their own NFT production, especially in out old outdated engines? Absolutely not. This is why I hate these big corporate people because they don't understand what they're even saying at the end of the day. Porod continued to imply through the interview that the player backlash was due to their inability to understand the benefits of NFTs. 
I'm someone who like I once again, I, if I, if this person wanted to go get in a call with me, I would gladly do it because I at least do understand the blockchain. I have actually been involved in cryptocurrencies in many, many years. I have probably more money invested in cryptocurrency throughout my entire life than this guy probably has made from his actual Ubisoft job position. Like there's been a lot of cryptocurrency I've owned throughout this year. I've done a lot of day trading. I've gotten into crypto even back in 2016. Like a lot of my holdings have done very, very well for themselves in general. So the fact that they even for someone like me, who's more well-versed in cryptocurrency itself, let alone everyone else who understands at least the nuances of it the fact that they're kind of insulting people on this is just kind of just to me it just honestly got embarrassing so he says i think gamers don't get what a digital secondary market can bring them i think it can i think it'd be phenomenal but the big issue is that is once again a lot of game developers would have to have a long-term support for it to be able to go utilize these different types of skins and different types of nft type products on various game systems now if you're a company like ubisoft and you could utilize all these things throughout the ubisoft market that has a lot of potential but once again what happens when you get to a new engine what happens if literally no one wants to utilize it and as well on top of that too at some point there's a money issue where if you go and spend a thousand dollars on an nft so let's say you have a sword or something like that in assassin's creed type game Guess what? Who is going to be paying that money long term? Is it going to be Ubisoft or are they going to drop the project after a few different years? We think like once again, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, 60 years. Like this is a lot of legalities that actually kind of matter in the first place. So for now, because of their current situation and context of NFTs, gamers really believe it's first exploring the planet and second, just a tool for speculation. All 100% it is a tool for speculation without any type of doubt. All cryptocurrencies in the same exact boat too as well, besides maybe type of stable coin. So first and foremost, you're already wrong. Second of all, destroying the planet. I'm actually not one of those big freaks who want to go push like the cryptocurrencies destroying the planet because there's other various things that do kind of affect the planet a lot more on a heavily scale. It is technically a negative thing when it comes to electricity, but there's also a very large margin of cryptocurrencies that are also just more so based on solar, hydro hydroelectric power. And overall, while it is a somewhat negative long term as the kind of planet turns a little more on the greener side, it should overall be fine as well. The impact is also very minimal, but you're definitely wrong on the second take. What we're at Ubisoft are seeing first is the end game, which you need to go and get to the actual first step as a big game industry before you get to the end game. End game's cool. I can see the end game, but right now you, you're kind of missing the first, like the first step. If you go and trip on the first step, it's not a good start to go run a marathon. The end game is about what giving players the opportunity to resell their items once they're finished with them or they're finishing playing the game itself. Which once again, for games say like Diablo back in the day, World of Warcraft runescape all these mmos it does flow very very well but the issue is that games by themselves eventually just go and end think about how many different types of assassin creed games we've had from ubisoft alone even for literally ubisoft themselves literally like uh yesterday they shut down one of their brs so what if they had microtransaction nfts that basically had unique items for their characters for that game and then what happens after it shuts down now the idea is that the item would still exist but their resale value and you usability is basically null and once again what happens if it's five years or ten years down the line and ubisoft drops the support on nfts in the first place it does not work like that you need to go pay developers you need to go and have the custom animations you have to have custom game scaling and basically you have to have someone specifically coding every single type of nft into your system and every game is different especially for an ubisoft game too as well where different type of scales different power scales and different types of overall games are different a game like tom clancy's rainbow six versus say the division extremely different as well when it comes to this type 2 stalker 2 developer gcc game world had you turn on nft plans following player backlash now i can maybe see some kind of cool stuff with this for say stalker because what if you want to go have your own custom character developed into an nft for the game itself that would be a cool system or as well maybe you want to have like a world's first achievement or maybe a specific mount say for world of warcraft which you guys can go and trade for a long-term style game, I can see that having potential. Although, once again, if the game shuts down, it loses its value. And as well, there might be even be legalities on someone trying to go trade these items. Back in the day, playing games like RuneScape, playing games like Maple Story, playing games like, you know, World of Warcraft, Final Fantasy XIV, there is potential there, but I just don't like the idea that Ubisoft is basically insulting their player base and insulting their own community by not fully understanding the actual long-term commitment you'd have to go make to make this happen. Now, once again, I have someone who's been involved in cryptocurrency for quite some time, so seeing this almost kind of seems like a delusional, delusional take to go and see how Ubisoft is even responding to this in the first place, as well even on their responses too. It's setting to see that there's still resistance based on misunderstanding, he said. But I'm not really sure we can compare what Stalker 2 was trying to do with what we're trying to retrieve with courts. It's not the same use case, the players, I would go and say. 
And a lot of folks out here, even as we have a company over here from Kotaku discussing this, going to once again show that everyone's up just a little bit more on the disappointment and sad on it. We're even seeing things like Guitar even trying to go in silver by putting more NFTs with loot boxes in. And once again, I kind of just feel like the whole gaming industry as a whole is more so pushing the idea of let's try to make more money. Let's try to include more microtransactions. And let's try to go and uh, sell this idea to the public so we can make a nice little quick buck. And at the end of the day, if that's what they're trying to go do, which it does kind of seem like it is with all these big game companies, it is disgusting and not what we as gamers need to go and have. So it is a little bit more on the disappointing side seeing this, and it's also disappointing seeing people go and double down and insulting their own individual communities. But at the same time with this, I just I, I could see the potential. I'm not a naysayer when it comes to all these types of NFTs. It just has to be implemented well, and so far we have not seen that long-term commitment and long-term development needed for these big game companies to make it warranted to go and sell and utilize these NFTs. We'll see how time goes on, but right now, NFTs still to my point are just really awful microtransactions from big companies trying to make money, and until I can see something otherwise, I think a lot of folks will say the same. So give me your thoughts and comments down below for this one, and as well, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on, as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Amazon links down below for all of our PS5 disc digital consoles, we're in for that drop coming up soon. As well, we also do have the got a little Samsung SSDs up on sale. Same thing too as well with the phones. Link down below. And let's go and uh, hopefully have some good news coming that's not NFT related in the near future.